down. Yeah, nice to have Jimmy Butler on your side. He's got that ability to score when it's not so easy out there. Tatum from long range. Pure from three-point range. Tatum's got six points. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Butler. Lowry with a screen on Tatum to the inside. It's stolen by Smart. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. It's Smart on the wing. Pass to Brown. There's the three. The rebound by Lowry. The Heat have gone just two for four from the floor. Butler passes to Adebayo. Outside for Butler. And he banks in the layup. He's got six. This is feeling a little bit too easy right now for Jimmy Butler. Boston's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Now Brown. Smart with the ball. Three-pointer. Here's Williams. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Now here's Lowry. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Over Smart. Smart with the defensive effort. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And finished off by Tatum. Give Tatum credit. Getting ideal positioning inside and hammering it down with power. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. So it's Boston now. After the basket by Miami. Gets the three ball to go. Tatum's got 11. Nice play. Tatum consistent with that jump shot, especially off the catch. Pass to Butler. Deflects the pass. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside, Williams. Here's Horford. He's guarded by Hero. And there's Horford on the assist from Williams. Good closer to the rack. Horford's added a jumper, but at home on the inside. Miami trailing. Down low. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Leader of the 2019 Raptors championship team, Kyle Lowry, winning in those finals as the point guard. It just took his career and confidence to another level. First free throw is good. Lowry and the Raptors made their first finals in 2019 and facing that Warriors team that was presenting itself as a dynasty. And man, Lowry was terrific in that series. I think he put to bed a lot of playoff demons that might have been haunting him. Seven assists per game, barely any turnovers, going up against Steph, really earning that ring and solidifying his place in the league. He doesn't have the quickness of some guys, but he sees everything, including that opening. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming, so they're creating some turnovers that they're capitalizing on. A line change here for Miami. Pass to Oladipo. To 
Just five to shoot. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Struce's shot is off. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Here's Muscala. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's a. Depot. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. It's tipped. Now Brogdon. To the left wing. Here's Hauser. Three-pointer, no good. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. It's the Celtics. They're up by 10. We've got more in store for you right after this. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. On the court for Miami here in the second. Kevin Love out there with Omer at seven. Then it's Max Struess. Then there's Victor Oladipo. And it's Vincent in at the point guard position. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that spot. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horford, he's checked in for Muscala. Jason Tatum comes in for Hauser. Brown, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Smart subbed in for White. There's Tatum with the three. Boston, no good that time either. Miami with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Tatum against Oladipo. Pass to Vincent. Now here's your seven. Not a lot of room. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. Tatum can't hit. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Struess. To the paint. Horford with a steal. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Well, Brent, the relationship between players and refs can sometimes seem a little hostile. Does it need to be that way? Well, you and me have our little tips, don't we, Brian? So, yes, in order for us to do our best work. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It doesn't have to be that way. But, look, when you're at this level of competition, it's heated, it's intense. Sometimes get outside your gourd a little bit. And that's when instances like this can happen between a player and a referee. And that goes for both sides. Here's Oladipo following the bucket by the Celtics. Love finds Oladipo. Here's seven down low. Williams defending. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Smart with the ball. Pass to Williams. Outside Tatum from deep. It's rebounded by your seven. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Oladipo, the pass to your seven. Outside Struess. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. First team foul. And here are the Heat now. They've only given up two points this quarter. Clock at six. Oladipo, the pass to your seven. And a foul called on the way up. 
So he'll take two from the free throw line. Jalen Brown picks one up. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And Graham, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven league. Tatum can't hit. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, Always surprising to see him miss from there. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. Pass to Struess. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Struess has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Oladipo against Smart. Left side Williams. Perfect night so far. Two for two. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Timeout called. The Heat. have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Lowry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And Lowry just pushing his way that time to the inside. The Celtics with the lead. It's Brown on the wing. And a nice finish on the layup. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Lowry, the pass to Hero. Butler on the wing. Back to Lowry. Shot clock at five. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Some changes for Boston. Muscala, he's checked in for Horford. Hauser comes in for Brown. And it's White in for Smart. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. One thirty-six left in the second quarter. Outside White, fires for three, nails it from three. And now a 10-point Celtic lead. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Lowry. To the middle. Here's Martin, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And you would expect a quality play like that from a quality guard like Kyle Lowry. The Celtics have gone four of ten from the field in the second. Pass to Williams. Down low. Here's White. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. White's got five now. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Here's Butler, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Robert Williams picks up one. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. Williams has checked in for Boston. Brogdon comes in for Pritchard. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Brockton against Hero. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. 
That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. Lowry against White. Tries it from the block. And the Celtics tack on two more. 20 seconds left in the second. Lowry outside. Back to Butler. Lowry the pass to Butler. Let's it go from the wing. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And so it's Boston earning this break in the action. Up 10. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Jason, you hold the lead going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Just tuning in. Thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in its center, filling out the middle. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Lowry. Launches it. The shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. And Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. Now here's Butler. Give him eight points now. loose and stolen by Brown smart outside screen by Horford six to shoot and it's Miami with a rebound hero outside Outside Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Tatum. Butler passes to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Yeah, Bam gets himself a little bit of elbow room. And that's a confident-looking shot. The Celtics have gone just one of three in the second half. And Horford powers it home. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. And it's the Heat with the ball. After the basket by Boston. Butler passes to Lowry. Five to shoot. 4-3. Horford pulls it in. 
the Celtics have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like all-NBA team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Ryan for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Oladipo against Brown. Love passes to Oladipo. You're seven, a screen on Brown. Oladipo. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. He pulls it. Here's Horford. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Al Horford still brings such a great, consistent effort every night there with the second chance opportunity. Pass to Vincent. Over to the left wing. And here's your seven. Oh, sweet move. And the layup is up and in. Your seven's got six points. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night with the teardrop and no good good work defensively by Oladipo here's Vincent still getting warmed up offensively no buckets yet in the game from him with the second effort and he got the whistle on the way up so he'll be headed to the line for a pair and even from where we're sitting you can clearly tell it was a foul and he drops the first. A big group substitution here for Boston. Muscala, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And it's White in for Smart. Now here's White. Seven points in the game. Here's Brogdon. Oladipo with the rebound. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. This is where Oladipo goes in and has no fear of drawing some contact. Nice job of getting through the defense. First one falls for him. Oladipo taking two shots. one falls so he hits both of them the Celtics have gone four of nine in the third quarter and finished off by Tatum going into his role as a franchise player Tatum with a huge game it's been so much fun watching him tonight and here's Oladipo outside Struess pass to your seven Shoots over Muscala. He can't get it to go. Now Boston takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. An ascending superstar. Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. 